lady. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Good morning. We are back on the altar of fire, and today we are all fired up, excited about what God is going to do. What amazing time. You know, um, uh, we what we do here is very important, and it's helping a lot of people, and the enemy is always scared, and he doesn't want you to be on today. But guess what? We made it to be on today, and whatever he has planned will not come to pass. The Lord Almighty has given us complete victory complete dominion, complete victory over every strategy and schemes and tactics of the devil. So we are blessed and we are favored. Praise God. I'm excited today to be on. God is moving in a mighty way, is breaking yokes, lifting burdens, releasing people who are bound with chains. And so today we're going to delve into a powerful encounter with God on this altar of fire. If you're wondering where you are, you are on the altar of fire where we are on here Monday through Friday by God's grace. We are engaging God on the altar of fire Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time where we join together and we engage the power of prayer and the power of intercession and we see the mighty hand of God moving in our lives. The Bible declares that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of men what God has prepared for us. So I thank God for the mighty things that he has prepared for us and we are ready to receive it. We're ready to receive it. We're ready to take it in, to engage it, to allow it to have access into our lives and our families. Praise God. So this morning, we're going to start off in prayer and in thanksgiving. While we're about to start off in prayer and thanksgiving, I want you to invite somebody. Yes, I said it, invite somebody. Click the invite button or share link. Share the link on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on wherever you're watching, on your WhatsApp. Share the link, copy the link, and send it out to your friends and family. Somebody needs to be blessed by this. Somebody will be blessed by this, praise God, if you engage the power of prayer today and you engage the act of sharing when we share, we invite people to partake in what God has in store for us. And the Bible says, great is the company of those who published it. Whenever we publish what God is, has in store for us, we take off in power, hallelujah, and we engage him and we see the mighty move of the spirit working in our lives. Praise God. Um, glory to God. So today, uh, get ready for an encounter with the Lord. Get ready for a powerful experience in the presence of the Lord. And go ahead and share. Invite your family, invite your friends, invite your colleagues, and let us engage God together. Praise God. Also, I want to invite you to, um, if you're in the DFW area, we're here in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. We're in Dallas, so you can join us if you're anywhere in the Texas area or even outside Texas. You can fly. Go to our website, supernaturalnation.com or bibledavids.org and see all our events coming and join us in any part of the world that we're on. Uh, today, on the altar of fire, I want you to say after me this morning, say, Father, I thank you for waking me up, for setting me on my way. Thank you for your mighty move. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your mighty act. Thank you for you show great and mighty things. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for I trust you because I know you're working on my behalf. Thank you because of the mighty things that you are doing in my life that nothing stops it. I thank you because I received divine acceleration, divine prosperity, divine increase, divine favor. I'm going to my next level in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want us to start in Thanksgiving. So if you're joining, I want you to begin to type all the Thanksgiving to the Lord. Type God is good and His mercies and just forever. Go ahead and type it. Type it. Type it. Say, for the Lord is good. And his mercies endure forever. Say, Father, I thank you for you never leave me nor forsake me. Thank you for your mighty works. Thank you for your mighty act. Thank you for the move of the Spirit. Thank you for deliverance, freedom, and, and great grace and blessings that are released unto my life. I thank you, God. Go ahead and bless the Lord. It says, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. So, Father, this morning we come to thank you. Thank you for waking us up. Thank you for setting us on our way. I thank you for everyone that you is on today. 
that you ordered them to be here. And so, God, we engage together. We partake in the blessings, that in the feast that you have prepared for us. We are ready for the feast. The Bible says you prepare a table before us. Thank you because you have prepared a feast and a table before us, and we will not be defeated. You have prepared it, and we are accessing it. We thank you, God. Thank you for what you started to do. We give you all the glory, all the praise, and all the thanksgiving, and all the adoration to you be all the honor in Jesus' name. Thank you for waking my sister up, my brother up, and staring us up to be joined together today to engage the power of prayer. And as we contend for the faith, as we engage together, as we get into what you have in store, we will not be the same again. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we give you all the glory and all the praise and all the thanksgiving in the name of Yeshua I'm a Shiak. Praise God. Praise God. I want us today, we're going to be delving into what I've titled Releasing the Ministry of Angels. We're going to be using uh, the power of God to access the ministry of angels. So someone's like, why angels? Because the Bible declares that angels are, are ministering spirit. I want us to first start off from the book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse number 14. Hebrews chapter 1 and 14, it says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? So those talking about angels there. Angels are ministering spirit that God has sent to minister to you and for you. Praise God. So I want you to know that you're not alone. God has sent his angels to be charged over you. So I want you to say in Jesus' name, I receive access to the ministering angels of God to minister to me in Jesus' name. I receive access to the ministry of angels to set out to minister to me because I'm an heir of salvation. If you're an heir of salvation, I want you to type it. <clears throat> See, I'm an heir of salvation. You, you partake, you an heir. An heir of salvation means uh, you are part of the will of God. That, that means God has a testament. He has written his will. And your name is part, you're part of his heirs. That means you are his offspring. That means you have an, an inheritance of his salvation. And because you have an inheritance, part of your inheritance is the ministry of angels to minister to you. Because you are a child of God. You are not a servant. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of the living God. You are called, the Bible says that you are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a peculiar people. So guess what? You are special. I wanted to type, I am special. I am special. God's hand is on me, and I am special. Praise God. I am an heir of salvation. I'm chosen by the Lord. I'm called out of darkness into his marvelous light. I'm called out of shame. I'm called into the light. I'm called into the light of God's glory. I'm called into the son of righteousness. I'm called into the power of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God, you are an heir of salvation. You are called by the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13 and verse number 2, it says, do not forget to entertain strangers for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So sometimes God will send angels to us, and we that's why it says, don't be tired in doing good. Some of you, you just like, oh, I've been doing so much good. I'm, not, I'm just going to be uh, strict. I'm not going to do this anymore. I've done so much of this. You can never outgive God. You can out, never out, go, out, out, outdo goodness to people. You got to show love to people because the Bible says when you do that, you may not know, you may entertain angels. Praise God. That means there are angels that are constantly around you that God is sending to minister to you. I wanted to say in Jesus' name, I activate the ministry of angels around me. I activate the ministry of angels over me. I activate the ministry of angels within me to walk around my vicinity, to walk within my vicinity, to walk with, within my home, within my business, within my, my job. Whatever you're doing, I want you to begin to release the ministry of angels. Praise God. You are not alone. Type it. I am not alone. God is for me and his angels are my body God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am not alone. God is with me. I am protected protected. I am secured. I am surrounded. I am shielded. I am covered in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. 
Glory to God. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 2 says, Above it stood the seraphims, each one had six wings, and with two it covered his face, and with two he covered his feet, and with two it did fly. That's the Bible talking about the, the ministry of angels are always around us. Some angels are ministering angels of worship. And you've got to activate each, and one of, 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 each one of these angels to be activated around you. See, when you play worship music, you play music and you sing, the Bible says sing with melody in your heart. You attract worship angels because they're attracted to worship. You in, make the atmosphere conducive for the Spirit of God. So I wanted to say in Jesus' name, I release the spirit of, spirit of worship to activate the ministry of worshiping angels around me in Jesus' name. To, uh, 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 to just flap their wings around me in protection and flap their wings as they worship not you, but worship the Most High God. Isn't it amazing to know that in heaven, the Bible says the angels are continuously worshiping God day after day and we'll join them. They're laying their crowns, uh, they're laying their uh, they, they, they themselves down and worship to the most I got thousands and millions of angels worshiping God just surrounding his throne I wanted to say God I, I just want to enjoy that presence of the Lord that comes when we worship I want my room to be saturated with your holy presence in the name of Jesus I want the ministry of angels to be there the Bible declares you know the ministry of the Holy Spirit is one but the ministry of angels is another he doesn't compromise my, uh, co 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 conflict with each other. It complements the, it complements the angels are there worshiping God, just like the Spirit of God is there with you to enhance your visibility of seeing the angels or activating the angels because they, they move at the command of the words of God's command from his mouth. A Bible says in the book of Hebrews, you remember Hebrews chapter 4. It says, we have not come to a mountain that cannot be moved, but we've come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God. I want to read that scripture. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Because there you know that whenever you come into an atmosphere, God, there are so many things that are present. And the angels are also present. The Holy Spirit is there. Jesus is there. And also the ministry of angels are present. Praise God. So we're going to read from the book of Hebrews, and I'm about to read it now, and I'm going to show you where it says it here. Um, hallelujah. Hebrews, I believe, chapter 4. Glory to God. Hebrews chapter 4. And it says that we have not come to a mound that cannot be touched, but we have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God the heavenly Jerusalem and to the innumerable company of angels to the church of the firstborn which are made perfect and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. So the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of Abel. The blood of Jesus speaks your redemption. The blood of Jesus speaks your cleansing. The blood of Jesus speaks your sanctification. The blood of Jesus speaks your deliverance. The blood of Jesus carries that, that uh, uh, power to deliver you and so when the blood of Jesus is there you also have uh, hallelujah the ministry of angels the angels are not there to co contend uh, with you but to enhance uh, the work that God is doing in your life praise God and to enhance your visibility for you to see what God is doing praise God almighty we're going to read it I want to open it real quick in a memorable company of angels hallelujah Hebrews uh, praise God 12, I believe, excuse me, Hebrews 12, praise God. Hebrews 12, not Hebrews 4. Hebrews chapter 12, Hebrews chapter 12, and we're going to read it. It says here, I believe we can start from um, verse number 22. Praise God. I love that scripture. Hebrews chapter 12, and from verse 22. This is what it says. For ye, but ye are come unto Mount Zion, hallelujah, you come to Mount Zion, unto the city of the living God. Watch this, Mount Zion talking about your place of prayer, your place of an, a, a, encounter with God. The city of the living God, the, in, the heavenly Jerusalem, the 
innumerable company of angels. So I was just telling you a thousand angels or 10,000 angels or millions of angels. But here the Bible just says they cannot be numbered. They are innumerable. That means they are, they are uncountable. You have come to an uncountable company of angels. Come on, come on. Look around you. You have innumerable company of angels around you. Each having his own uh, jurisdiction, doing his own assignment, doing what God God has told it to do, told, told them to do, because there are some angels that are worship angels, some are warfare angels, some are angels of help, some are protecting angels. God says you've come to an innumerable company of angels. Verse 23 says that to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all. So you see here, it looked like a judicial scenario that is has been presented here. It looks like a courtroom of heaven that has been presented here. It looks like what I call the great Aziz that has been presented here, which is the courtroom of heaven where you see, the Bible says, you, I'm inviting you to come to Mount Zion to the, in, the, the city of the living God and the innumerable, the heavenly Jerusalem and the innumerable company of angels come on so whenever you come into your place of prayer whenever you come into the courtroom of heaven you approach God in prayer you have the ministry of angels there the general assembly they can hear your prayers. The church of the firstborn is there, which are written in heaven. And it says also to God, the judge of all. So you see in this courtroom of heaven, there is God, the judge of all. He's the judge of all. He's ruling and he's reigning. And to guess what? I love this. The spirit of just man made perfect. So this talks about those who have died that have joined the, uh, the company. The Bible says that we are co compassed around with a cloud of witnesses. They are not angels, these are the saints that have been made perfect. So someone's like, oh, if you have family members that have been made perfect, that have gone to be with Jesus, they cannot interfere with what you're doing, but they can see it. They are witnesses. They can see you. They can cheer you up and say, wow, we can see what you're doing right there. They can talk to you, but they can see it. The Bible says the spirits of just men made perfect. And here it says that to Jesus also, Jesus is also there. He's doing something. He's the mediator of the new covenant. Remember we talked about covenant? So Jesus is there as your lawyer. Jesus is there as your solicitor. solicitor. Jesus is here as your advocate. He's there as your mediator. The one that stands in between to say, oh, they're accusing her of this, but I gave my blood to redeem her from that sin, to redeem her from the punishment, to redeem her from the judgment, and to the blood of sprinkling. What is the blood of sprinkling? The blood of Jesus. And guess what? The blood of sprinkling is not just there to kind of wet Jesus' body or to wet the floor of the courtroom. No. The Bible says that speak it. That means that blood speaks. Come on. Have you ever seen blood opening its mouth and speaking? So this says the blood of Jesus is so powerful it has life and it speaks. And what does it speak? It says that speak it better things than that of Abel. The blood of Abel there was talking about the blood of vengeance because when Abel, uh, Abel's blood was shed by his brother Cain, the blood was crying out for judgment and for vengeance. But the blood of Jesus is crying instead for vengeance and judgment. It's crying mercy. Praise God. So we have this company around us and I love amongst the company the ministry of angels. I wish one of these days we can uh, go into all this and begin to activate uh, all these ministries and understanding and see it working in our life like talking about the speaking blood. But today we're dealing about the, the innumerable company of angels. I wanted to say after me, say in the name of Jesus, I activate the ministry of angels in my life. I activate the ministry of angels around me. I activate the ministry of angels when I drive, when I walk, when I turk, when I go shopping. Let angels be on an assignment to be around me everywhere that I go. Some of you, your children going to school, you got to release the ministry of angels who accompany them. When they're going out, when they're coming in, when they're going to school, when they're coming back, oh, you can release 
the ministry of angels. Hallelujah. The Bible says here in the book of Psalm 103, and I love the scripture. You can write that down. Psalm 103 verse 20, because we're going to pray with all the scripture. It says, bless the Lord. Ye is angels that excel in strength, that do his commandment, hearkening unto the voice of his word. You is angel, you excel in strength, and that you do all the commandments of the Lord, and you hearken unto his word. So the angels do the commandments of God. They don't do your commandment. So when I say you command your angels, don't mean you command them by you want to, you, I want a, a plate of rice or I want a plate of spaghetti or wait a plate of pasta and then you begin to command your angels to go do your grocery. No, that's not what the Bible is talking about. They, uh, they excel in strength and they do the commandment of God. When you command your angels, you are commanding them based on the commandments that the word of God has provided, based on the instructions that are in the word of God. What am I saying by this? The Bible says that there is an instruction for protection over you so you can ask your angels to, to be released for protection. You can say, I command the angels assigned to me to be activated for my protection because the Bible actually says it because Psalm 91 that it will give his angels charge over you to guide you in all your ways. I want you to say after me, say in the name of Jesus, I decree that my angels excel in strength and the move at the commandment of God for my life. Come on, say I release the angels of God to move by the commandment of God for prosperity. I release my angels to move at the commandment of God for healing. I release my angels to be moving right now at the commandment of God for my victory, my protection, my security in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them move at the voice of the Lord. Let them move at the word of God. Let them move at the commandment of God. In the name of Jesus, I release those angels. Let them be going to walk on my behalf and let him begin to fulfill the things that God has spoken in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The book of Revelation chapter 19 and verse number 10 says, and I fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Praise God. And we're going to read again Acts chapter 8, another uh, encounter with angels here. And the Bible says, uh, 8 verse 26, And the angel of the Lord spake unto Philip, saying, Arise and go towards the south unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem and Gaza, which is the desert. So here you see the ministry of angels activated to give direction and to give the, uh, just to show the way, to point out as a pointer to a direction that God is, is given. Remember when Jesus was about to be born? The angel came to Joseph and told him to take the child and get out of where you are. So sometimes God sends the ministry of angels to give you a direction to escape a danger or to lead you to a direction where God has already spoken or where God has already prepared for you. For everyone that is walking through life in confusion, walking through journeys of life and you don't know where to go or what to do or where to go, I decree in Jesus' name that the angels of God will be released on your behalf and you will receive a divine direction to know what to do, to know where to go, to know where to connect to in the name of Jesus Christ. The angels of God will be read, will be released uh, to lead you in the right direction. The angels, some of you will not even know that you are dealing with angels because God will put close on angels and those angels will be activated and they'll begin to talk to you, attend to your file, talk to you, issue your papers, issue your documents, approve your loan, approve your your, your funds without you even knowing it. My God, it is possible. I want you to say it after me. Say in the name of Jesus, I activate the ministry of angels to walk on my behalf. I activate the ministry of angels to be released over my family. I activate the ministry of angels to be released over my job. I activate the ministry of angels to be released in my business. I activate the ministry of angels to be released over my funds, over my money, over my health, over my wealth, 
over my prosperity. I activate the ministry of angels for divine direction. I activate the ministry of angels for worship. I activate the ministry of angels for joy and peace. I will not be depressed because there's worship angels around me and that's why I'm celebrating all, all, all the time because the presence of God surrounds me. Come on, come on, let the ministry of angels be activated and, and released over my church. My church is driven by the presence of God and by the supernatural move of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. I release the ministry of angels to begin to give divine direction. I release the ministry of angels to begin to give a direction in any way, in any place, in any decision that I'm about to make in Jesus' name. Oh God Almighty, put clothes on angels' backs and put clothes on them in Jesus' name. Let me begin to entertain angels in Jesus' name. Come on, you speak it right now. You speak it right now. The power is in your mouth. You begin to speak it. Come on, I see people typing those things right there. Say, I decree in Jesus' name, I will entertain angels and I will receive the help of angels everywhere that I go. I will receive the help of angels everywhere that I turn. I will receive the help of angels everywhere that I go. Every door that I knock in the name of Jesus. Angelic host, angelic help in Jesus' name. Every door that is shut against me, I decree right now that the ministry of angels will we begin to open up those doors in the name of Jesus and I begin to receive favor by the Lord. I receive the favor of God by the ministry of angels. Let angels of God be released around me, be released over me, be released on me in Jesus' name and let me begin to connect with open doors for prosperity, open doors for wealth, open doors for money, open doors for increase, open doors of things that money can by and open doors of things that money cannot buy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that the Lord Almighty is on my side. The Lord Almighty is making a way for me. The Lord Almighty is showing me the right path in Jesus' name. I will not walk in the wrong direction. I will not go in the wrong places. I will not connect with the wrong company in Jesus' name. I receive right now the ministry of angels. Come on, I want to pray for children. I want to pray for families. I want to begin right now, begin to list out the names of your children on that chat. Begin to list out the names of your children. The Bible declares that there are angels specifically assigned to children. He says that let no one trouble these little ones for their angels are always before me, before the Father. So I want you to begin to list out the names of children, of your young ones, your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren. Begin to type those names right now. In every name that is typed there right now, I decree the ministry of angels to begin to accompany those kids that don't know what to do, those teenagers that are alone, instead of them going in the wrong company, instead of them entering the wrong co connections, the wrong associations, the wrong companies, the wrong friendship, let the angels of the Lord steer them away, let the angels of the Lord be released around them to tell them what to do in Jesus' name. Oh my God, let guiding angels, let guiding angels begin to guide they're going in they're coming in and they're going out in Jesus name let the angels of God be released over our young people my God I feel oh glory to God glory to God come and type those names of your kids Type the names of your family members. Type the names of your children. In Jesus' name, I release angels. Come on. I release angels of God. I release. I could go ahead and tell you different kinds of angels in the Bible. Different kinds of angels in the Bible. And you will be like, my God, I wish God would give me the time to get into this today. But today, begin to type those names of those children. I begin to decree right now. I activate angels on behalf of my children. Children. I activate angels on behalf of my grandchildren. Every child associated with this ministry, every child associated with this church, every child associated with anyone watching, anyone connected, anyone believing, anyone here, I decree in Jesus' name, let the angels of God be released on them. My God, in the name of Jesus.
Angels of God, angels of God, angels of God, they will not go in the wrong place. They will get words from the Lord. When evil is coming, the angels of God will stir them up and will move them out of that scenario. When there's an accident, they will be protected by the Lord. When they're about to make the wrong friendship, the Lord will send it, put clothes on angels to dissuade them from those wrong companies. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, 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 the angels of God. God, I release to keep charge over you, to protect you, to secure you, to cover you from every danger and every arm and every evil in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. The angels are released right now. I want to list out a few kind of angels that we're going to begin to, and as I begin to talk about them, we're going to pray over them. I'll talk about one and then we'll pray I'll talk about the next and then we'll pray and we keep praying and then after that we'll round up with more prayers and we'll begin to declare them. <clears throat> Today uh, there are several kinds of angels. Angels have different uh, assignment or different uh, allocations, things that they are allotted to do, things that they have been assigned to do. Not every angel does everything. They're not just monotonous. Every angel going down and bowing down and worshiping 24-7. They're angels that have specific roles and specific assignments and we see that in the Bible remember that in the Bible the Bible talks about when Daniel prayed that the angel was sent called angel Gabriel that was sent to him to bring good news to him and so on on the way that angels was coming the Bible says he could not deliver because he was interrupted by the prince of Persia I want us to read that praise God so the first angel that we're going to begin to talk about today uh, and we got to be careful I see a lot of people reading books that are not um, approved by the uh, by the by the uh, canonized or not part of the Bible I do not advise us to get into the names of angels to begin to find go Google names of different kinds of angels that's not what we're talking about we're talking about the roles that are already listed in the Bible the Bi and so those are the kind of angels you got to be careful because if you keep doing that if you keep go going into her teachings of angels, you might be associating with familiar spirits unknowingly or demons unknowingly or four or fallen angels unknowingly. But when I talk about the angels that are mentioned in the Bible, that the Bible has not given us their names, we got to be careful not to begin to add, uh, call the names of specific angels and begin to tell them to do things. Don't, you don't want to begin to call uh, demons to go into assignment, praise God. But here, we, you, you see here in the Bible, the Bible talks about uh, the angel that was withstood by the prince of Persia. And we can find that story in the book of Daniel. Praise God. Daniel, glory to God. And so the first angel we're talking about today is the, in Daniel chapter 10. Uh, the first is the angel of good news. A delivery angels that bring good tidings. Good news, good tiding angel. I wanted to type it. Say in Jesus name, I receive a Good tidings, angels, in Jesus' name. I receive uh, good tidings, angels, in the name of Jesus Christ. Those ain't that particular kind of angel, they are sent to, from God to bring good tidings or to bring good news uh, to God's people. I want us to read from Daniel chapter 10, uh, and, and we're going to read, uh, um, uh, and this is, it talks about, I'll, I'll go to verse uh, 12. This was... Uh, verse, yeah, it's a, the whole chapter when you have time, you can read it, but I'll, I'll start from verse 12, and we see here the angel called good news that was sent to, to bring a good news to Daniel. Daniel chapter 10 and verse 12, then said he unto me, fear not Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst Said, this said that had to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God. Thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. But the prince of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But lo, Michael, one of the chief princes came, the, one of the archangels came to help me, and I remained there with the king of Persia. But now I'm come to make thee understand what shall befall. So here you see the, the angel called, uh, that, that, that Daniel sent Gabriel, there was an angel of good news that was appointed to deliver the good news to Daniel. The Bible says, the angel said from the first day that you prayed, God already answered your prayers. 
And he sent me to bring the good news to you. And these angels are the good news angels. Also in the book of Luke chapter 1, you see the good news angels here. The Bible says in chapter 1 and verse 26, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth. To a virgin exposed uh, to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and says, uh, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. And she, when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in a man what manner of salutation. This shall be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And so the angel kept talking about this. And so you see here, this is, uh, thou hast found favor with God. I love to read this. Verse 31 says, And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord of Lord God shall give him unto the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and ever, and the kingdom there. I see here, the Bible talks about this angel who came and gave a salutation to Mary. So these angels are assigned by God to bring good news. I decree over everyone right now that is due for good news that God will send angels. You see it in the Old Testament and you also see it in the New Testament where the angels were sent to bring good news to people. I decree over everyone in the name of Jesus Christ that good news will be released to you. Everyone trust in God for a good news. I decree right now in Jesus' name, uh, let those good news be released to you. Also in the book of Luke, the same Luke, uh, chapter 1 and verse 19, here the angel talking about himself. He says, and the angel answered unto him and said, I am Gabriel that stand in the presence of God and I am sent to speak to you and to show you good tidings or good news. I'm sent to give you good news. So right now, there are specific angels that are assigned for good news. I decree right now, let the good news angels be released in your life. Come on, somebody begin to type it. Say right now, throughout this week and throughout this month, throughout this entire 2024, I actively the ministry of the angels of good news and glad tidings, glad tidings, celebration angels to be released on my behalf. Come on. Every time those angels come, they come with good news. Every time those angels come, they come with packages. Every time those angels come, they come with good news to deliver to you. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God be released for good news for me. Oh my God, if you are trusting God for a miracle job. I decree right now let there be a delivery of that miracle letter, miracle appointment in your life in the name of Jesus. It's your season of good news. It's your time for a good news. It's the moment for good news. In the name of Jesus Christ, the angel of the Lord, he says, I am the Gabriel that stands in the presence of God, and I am sent. I am sent. Angels are sent by God. Lord, send ministry angels to bring good news to our church, and to bring good news to God's people, to bring good news to the saints. Everyone that is expecting a financial miracle, receive a package of a good news angels. Some of you, you've been waiting, all you've been hearing is bad news, getting your email only bad news, picking your mail in your mailbox only bad news, that stops right now. In Jesus' name I activate the ministry of angels to begin to, sp to, begin to spur miracles of good news in your life. Come on, then you don't need to physically see those angels come to you and say, oh I'm Gabriel, I came to give you good news. That would be cool, but not just that. When those angels are around you they stare up good news. They stare up people to just approve your application. They stare up people. They stare up things uh, to begin to bring good news. There's just somebody says, I, I don't know why, but I love you. I want to get married to you. That's all good news. You are getting married because the angels of good news, the angels of congratulations. See how we came to Mary? He says, Hail Mary. He says, Wow, oh thou Mary, thou highly favored. These angels come uh, with a dose of favor. My God Almighty. 
Let the doors of favor come on you by the activation of faith of those angels. Come on. How many people are ready for those angels of good news? Come on, type it congratulations to me. Somebody type, it's my season of congratulations. It's my season of congratulations. Let the good news angels be a release right now and begin to bring me packages. Good news. Begin to stir it up. Begin to send it in through my email. Begin to stir people to favor me. Begin to stare men to favor me. Begin to stare people to, to just bless me. Begin to stare money in my favor. Begin to stare connections. Begin to stare relationship. Begin, guess what? Guess what? This angel was so good that when Gabriel was about to abandon, to break the relationship with, with Mary, uh, it went and kind of did a conflict resolution because there was a conflict going on there. When that angel is released, uh, that will be resolved solutions of conflict anyone going through conflicts right now when those good news angels around you you will just be like wow every time is good news every time you open your mail you get a miracle check every time you open your letter we have reviewed your case and we realize that we are owing you this you whenever we are giving you a refund of this wow you qualify for this this is coming your way in the name of jesus god has a million and one way to bless you god God has a million and one angels of good news to bring good news to you. Come on, I feel like jumping out of this scene right now. It's too hot for me right now. Because though I see, I sense it, I sense it, I sense it. The Lord is showing me many people who have labored. You have labored over the years. You have worked hard, but you got little in return. It looks like when you're going high and everything is high tender, it just nose dives, boom. The devil is a liar. That will happen to Daniel. He was praying 21 days, praying, but he never knew that from the first day, his answer was already sent. My God, he didn't have to see the angel. But he could have just gotten the result. But God wanted us to know that there could, there was an interference of that good news. Anyone that is watching, that has been going through, knows diving of blessings, knows diving of, of, of glory, of favor, of money, of relationship, of friendship, of connection, of partnership. In Jesus' name, it stops right now. I release multiple angels, multiple good news angels. Go around. Come on, come on, come on. These angels, you know something else they do? They are good in conflict resolution. They're also good in advertising. <laughs> they go around advertising. Remember, it went, those angels went, and when they went to, to, to the, those places, the Bible says when the, 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 head, the, the shepherds were there, the angels came there, and they were announcing, celebrating, announcing about what God was going to do with Mary. These are advertising angel, angels. I decree over you this is your season of good news come on come on your business is about to be advertised not just your business your life god is gonna make it to spiral my god some people will just look at your video and say i don't know why i just want to be part of it and they will hear it in their ears they didn't know it was an angel that whispered it to them they would think oh why don't i just call this person I'm thinking that it was them not knowing that it's the angels of good news that has been activated for you somebody watching me this year 2024 you will meet your miracle life partner by the ministry of the good news angels my god in the name of jesus christ the veil is taken off of you and you are getting married my god you are getting settled the lord will establish you the lord will bless you by the ministry of angels somebody watching right now the ministry of angels of good news will bring and deliver to you your miracle baby maybe you've been trusting god for a baby for a while you've been trusting god to conceive You've been trusting God. Guess what? That angel went to Mary. No, no relationship with her husband. No connection. But guess what? The angels, by the word of the mouth of God, that the angel spoke, Mary conceived. How much more when you are connected to your spouse? God says, I'm able to bless your womb. God is releasing those miracle angels to deliver miracle twins to somebody watching right now. Yes, you heard me. I said twin babies are coming. Twin babies are coming.
in the name of Jesus. Are you receiving it? Are you typing, I receive? Are you typing, congratulations? Are you typing in his mind? Are you typing, it's mine? I take it now. The Lord has delivered it to me. I believe God. I trust God. Faithful is he who has called me, who also will do it. He will do exceedingly, abundantly, above what I can ask or imagine. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God be released on my behalf. Let the angels of God be released on my behalf in the name of Jesus. My God, my God, let the angels of God be released on my behalf in Jesus' name to bring me to my place of good news, to bring me to my place of congratulations, to bring me to my place of promotion, to bring me to my place of good news in the name of Jesus. So these good news angels, they deliver good news. Another kind of angel, still close to the good news angels, as I already told you, are the angels, announcer angels. Type it, type announcer angels. You have the good news angels, I touched it a little bit, but I want to go deeper and show you in the Bible where you have the announcer angels. <laughs> These angels they sponsor. Have you ever sponsored something online or advertised? Use an advertising ag agency or you see where it says boost post. That means something that would normally organically would have had maybe uh, 10 people to hear about it. When, the, you, when you boost it, you could have 10 million. There are angels that actually magnify, make something go viral. They announce it. They publicize it. They promote it. Come on. Ever before Facebook came, ever before Twitter came, these angels have been around. They go around marketing, 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 marketing. They're about to market your business, market your life. Have you heard? Have you heard? This is what those angels are going to begin to do in your life. Hallelujah to God. Watch this in the book of Luke chapter 2. And verse number 8. The Bible says, Shepherds were in the field near near Bethlehem, they were taking turns watching their flocks by night. They were not trying, they were doing their job. You see, they were busy. Some people are busy doing their jobs, going to the bank, working in their offices. They were just doing their shepherds, were doing their regular job, taking turns. They were taking turns. They were working shifts. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Some people are doing their jobs right now, but God is going to go and I interrupt their jobs and begin to announce you to them by the ministry of announcer angels. Come on, come on, come on. I feel this so strong. I, I hope I can get through this today because there's so many of these types of angels that I want us to delve into. And then there are, are, are about 10 of them. But today, you want to activate the announcer angels. Say in Jesus' name. I activate the announcer angels to go around and begin to market me. <laughs> Come on. You begin to get marketing without even paying. You begin to get God to market you. God will begin to use the mouth. Those eight people, how does he do it? Sometimes he uses the mouth of people. He makes them, he whispers to their ears. Have you heard about this? They thought they were gossiping about you. Even gossipers. He will use gossip mails, blogs, gossip blogs uh, to advertise you. They never knew that they were being employed by these angels. You, they may have their employment, but God is about to give them a different employment by the ministry of angels. These shepherds were gainfully employed, doing their business, serious, taking turns. But guess what? Verse 9, he says, an angel from the Lord suddenly appeared to them. Suddenly appeared to them. I love the word there, suddenly. That means it was unexpected. It wasn't part of their schedule. They woke up and say, from 8 to 9, we will feed our sheep. From 9 to 10, we will give graze them on the grass. From 10 to 11, we will walk them that way and you will take a turn from me. But in the midst of their activity, the Bible says that the angel of the Lord suddenly appeared 
said to them, I decree right now that every book that is closed against you, everyone that is closing their job of their books, thinking they finished their assignment, but God wants them to hear about you. I release right now the ministry of announcer angels to be released to interrupt their schedule, whether they be kings or they be presidents or they be in the government, men, kings and queens that are supposed to hear of you, people in authority, people in authority, people that have busy schedules in Jesus name, announcer angels will take their attention, will take their attention, will get their attention and advertise what God is about to do in your life. My God, this is so strong. This is so, I don't know why most days it looks like I can't finish what I'm supposed to do in one session. Now I got to come back again and continue and I try not to do that. But I've got to rush this today. But guess what? It was an interruption. These angels go and interrupt people's busy schedule. Have you tried to get somebody so busy? They're like, I'm so busy. I don't have time. But God says, I will interrupt them and I will announce you to them. The Bible says, and the angel of the Lord suddenly appeared to them. The glory of the Lord filled the area with light. And I'm reading Luke chapter 2 and verse 9 now. Filled the, the area with light. And guess what happened to them? They were terrified. <laughs> God is about to pause them. God is about to stop them. God is about to shock people for your advantage. How is he going to do it? announcer angels. Begin to type it announcer angels. Right now I release uh, my announcer angels right now. Go to the north. Uh, go to the east. Go to the west. Go to the south. Uh, go to the west, east, north and south and begin to announce the glory of God in my life. Begin to announce the prosperity that God has prepared for me. Begin to announce the money that God is about to release in my life. Begin to announce my giftings. Begin to announce my talents. Some of you have so many giftings, nobody knows about it. Maybe you don't even know about it. God is about to announce it. He's about to announce it to the world. The same thing you've been doing. The same way you've been serving. The same thing you've been doing. When God God sends announcer angels to it. It magnifies it. It blows it up. It makes it go viral. Come on, come on, come on. You are about to experience that viral encounter from the Lord by the ministry of angels in the name of Jesus Christ. The angels of the Lord appeared to them and interrupted them. The glory of the Lord filled the place and they were terrified. They were terrified by what God was doing in their life. I decree and declare in Jesus name, let the ministry of angels be activated on your behalf. Let angels be terrified in the name. Let people be terrified at the ministry of announcer angels that God is going to release into your life. Let there be miracles of money Miracles of wealth, miracles of prosperity, miracles of increase, miracles of jobs, miracles of testimony, miracles of breakthrough upon everyone that is connected right now in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare, let it happen right now. Let God send that help to you. Let God send that prosperity to you. Let God send that money to you. Let God send those people to you. Let God send those people that are busy, that are supposed to help you. Let them be announcing. Let God be announcing by the ministry of announcer angels to begin to talk about you. Begin to announce your glory. Begin to announce to call you. Begin to announce. Uh, stare the hearts of people. Stare their minds. Uh, stare their will. Stare their thoughts. Uh, let them be uh, awakened in the name of Jesus. Let the announcer angels be released uh, over everyone. Somebody are you praying? I want you to pray right now in Jesus name uh, over my life, uh, over my family. I release the ministry of announcer angels to be released on my behalf. I release an encounter of announcer angels to open up and send me prosperity. Send me, announce me, announce of me, announce me, and announce to me, and announce to people about me in Jesus' name. Everything that is hidden, let it come to light. The Bible says you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of 
of the world, your city set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. Oh God, let the angels of God take me and make me a city that is set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. Everywhere that I go, I'm a shining light. Everywhere that I'm going, I'm going in Jesus' name. I will not be hidden. I receive the grace for visibility. These angels are visibility angels. These angels are audibility angels. Oh God, where my voice cannot get to, let the announcer angels blow the horn. Where my voice, where my name, where my face, where my image, where my legs, where my feet can never get to. Let the announcer angels take me far and wide. Take my job. Take my children. Take my family. Take my business. Take my church. Take everyone that is connected. Take us to high places in the name of Jesus. Let the announcer angels be released right now in the name of Jesus. My God. My God. My God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. These announcer angels, the Bible says here, suddenly the angel appeared to them and the glory of the Lord filled the area with light. These angels go with light. And the Bible says you are the light of the world. You will not be hidden. You will not be in a dark place. You will not be in a shameful place. You will not be in a hole. You will be shown to the world in the name of of Jesus. Light is coming. Somebody type light. Somebody type it's my season of light. The glory of the Lord is going to fill my life right now. I'm receiving light. My God, my God, my God. Light, light, let it shine. Light, let it shine. Let the light of God shine on me. Let these angels, the announcer angels, let them turn on the power. Turn on the light around me. Come on, turn on the light. Turn on the light. People will look at you and say there's something about you that has changed. You tell them God has released those announcer angels announcing me. People will give you phone calls. You begin to receive phone calls of things like emails of things that you'd never even imagine from places you never even imagine because light has come the glory of God will fill that place it's the ministry of angels my God the angel said to them don't be afraid I have good news for you a message that fills everyone with joy the angels will bring joy they will announce joy they will announce your coming before Jesus showed up and before Jesus even grew up the angel was talking about it before you arrive a place the people begin to see visions and dreams that you're coming and people begin to see dreams and vision that you're on your way before you go apply for that job that interviewer will have a dream and have a vision of you before you get there how because of the announcer angels that are work in your life let it be so let it be done let it be released in the name of Jesus receive angelic help my God receive angelic help let that help come to you right now let that help come in your family right now let that help come in your business right now let that help come in your marriage right now let that help come in your job right now in the name of of Jesus Christ my God this is God this is God what a powerful time I, I, I can get into the rest of it we'll continue next time I've got to end it here we just talked about two and next time I believe God will go again into the ministry of angels again and we'll begin to talk about more activities of those of those functions of the angels but today even these two angels act activated on your behalf is good enough to give you testimony throughout this week. I want you to type it right there, congratulations. It's your season of congratulations. It's your moment of congratulations. In the name of Jesus Christ. The, and, and number two, thank you, Father, for announcer angels. Can you type that? Advertising angels, marketing angels. You don't want to know how much people pay on marketing. But when the angels of the Lord takes over your marketing, takes over your advertisement, it makes it ripple. It makes it explode by, by, by the yeast of the spirit. It adds yeast to it, your bread, and it bl blows up in Jesus' name. The announcer angels are coming with light for, uh, uh, for visibility. So the angels showed light and also spoke. So that talks about visible and audible. This season, the announcer angels will make sure you are visible and that you are audible in the name of Jesus. Haven't you been blessed today?
What a good time to be in God's presence. What a blessed time. I still have a lot of prayers. We're going to go again into the mystery of angels and we're going to talk more. But today I want to round up and declare that you are blessed by the Lord. You are favored by the Lord. The hand of God is upon you. The protection of the Lord is upon you. You are shielded. No weapon formed against you prospers. This is your season of good news. This is your season of overtaking. This is your season of light. This is your season of visibility. This is your season of audibility. This is your season of grace and glory in the name of Jesus Christ. If you haven't shared, this is a good time to share this video and also continue to send the links to people to be blessed by what God is doing here. Play this over and over again. Pray it in your secret place and watch God release angels to be, to, to be, to be around you and to, to protect you, to just surround you and to bring good news into your life. This is your season of good news. Start celebrating. So tell somebody at home, congratulations. Tell somebody next to you, congratulations. Type it, congratulations. Wherever you go today, just keep saying it's my season of congratulations. I will not hear any bad news. Only good news. Only good news. Only glad tidings. In Jesus' name, amen. An amazing season in God's presence. If you haven't given, this is the time to give. All the given details are showing on your screen. Go to our website also, BibleDavis.org, and give. You can give by Zelle. You can give by Cash App. You can give by all the given details showing on your screen today. I'm super excited, super elated about what God is going to do. So keep giving, keep pouring in, keep engaging what God has for us in Jesus' name. Also, I want to encourage you to visit our online store and purchase some of our products. Some of these prayers, some of these instructions, some of these things are on our, on our, on our uh, online store in our books and our products. Keep buying it. Keep feeding your spirit in Jesus' name and watch what God will do in your life. The Lord bless you. We're committed to you and we'll continue to join you on the altar. And you, will you continue to join us too on the altar of fire as we join every day together, Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. Set your time and join us based on your own local time zone. And join us on this altar of fire where we pray together. This is a great season. If you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, join us in Supernatural Life Center Church. We're here in the Dallas area. The Lord bless you. Go to our website, our church website, supernaturalnation.com, and see our time service, times of services, or even other locations around you. If you're in Canada, wherever you are, just go to our website and see how you can join us. And join us online as well every service. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you because His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. I love you and we love you on behalf of Apostle Bible David and my humble self. I love you with the love of the Lord. Keep keeping on. Keep joining us on the altar of fire. And remember, this is God at work. God bless you. Let's meet at the altar. Let's meet at the altar. Jesus, the consuming fire. Pour on my altar your fire. Let's meet at the altar.